Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Madeline Schmidt. We're learning more about the deadly head-on collision that killed eight people on a Greyhound bus on I-40 in western New Mexico on Thursday. News 13's Jeannie Nguyen is live in Gallup where NTSB investigators just gave an update on the investigation into what happened. Jeannie. Madeline, those investigators say they will be at the crash scene near the road for at least another week, analyzing what happened leading up to the deadly moments before that crash. Now, that crash happened on I-40 on Thursday in between Gallup and Grants from his hospital bed. The driver of the semi-truck says he was headed east on the interstate when one of his tires blew out. He says he did everything he could to avoid crashing, but it was too late, and his truck slammed head-on into a Greyhound bus headed in the opposite lane of traffic across the median. The bus was carrying 47 passengers. Eight people, including the bus driver, were killed in the collision. The semi-truck was with JAG Transportation out of Fresno, California. The National Transportation Safety Board started a more thorough investigation of what happened today. That includes reviewing safety policies of both companies involved in the crash, along with driver history, highway conditions, and physical evidence left at the scene. The NTSB also said it's been in touch with the passengers of the bus. The purpose of that is to try to get an understanding about what their perception was before this horrible event took place. While the scene has been cleared as of today, investigators will continue to be in the area for at least another week. So drivers may want to plan accordingly as there may be some delays on both directions of I-40. Madeline, back to you. All right, thank you, Jeannie. We'll have more on today's updates from the NTSB tonight on News 13 at 10.